when I came down here, I was not in favor of buying out TransCanada. And over the course of the last 10 or 11 days, with the intense meetings that we've had in finance, congratulations, uh, Madam Co-Chair, uh, they were great meetings, and a lot of information was imparted that we needed. Uh, I've been convinced that it's actually a, a pretty good deal for us to get out of this agreement. TransCanada is a great company. I think that was said over and over. That, that point was made in finance. Uh, but there are some reasons that we, we needed out of this, and uh, I'll just t talk to a couple of financial reasons. Um, in the HOA, back when we did SB 138, you'll recall that we formed up with TransCanada. We agreed that we were going to take our position in this project in, uh, in gas and that uh, TransCanada was going to hold a portion of our, of our equity. And they were going to go forward with, in our place as we went closer and closer to the project um, because of their expertise. Again, everybody agreed that TransCanada was a, technically a great company to be partnered with at this portion of the, uh, uh, of the project. And there were some off-ramps in that agreement. Uh, one of them is now, in the two, 2015. And we decided at the time that we would go forward. They were, we would take advantage of the fact that this got us out of a, a GIA arrangement, um, that it, uh, uh, our relationship with TransCanada, that they agreed to uh, let us off the hook for some of the problems that were involved with the GIA, that um, they would essentially act as a banker for us and protect us from some of the cash outlays that would, would be happening. Um, since that time, I, I think it has become apparent that it is better for us to get out of that because our, our financial arrangement with them uh, cost us 7.1 percent. It got us a lot in return. Don't get me wrong. It was a good deal. Um, but that it's probably time for us to get out because the long-term benefits of being associated with TransCanada in this project um, probably outweigh the, um, the negatives of, of staying with them. We're, we'll probably be, according to the Black and Veatch, we'll be probably about $400 million per year to the good uh, if we get out of this arrangement now. Our consultants probably disagreed with that a little bit. They said, uh, "Actually, you're 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 closer to a net uh, a net zero, maybe up to about 130 million dollars a year." There was some disagreement on that, but I think everyone agreed that it was not in uh, it did it not did not represent a financial hit to us to get out of the relationship with TransCanada. Another thing that it gives us, uh, besides some of the financial advantages, is that we are closer to the project. We have a seat at the table. We're involved in decisions as we go forward. Um, and that is of great value as we contemplate a project of this magnitude. So through all the meetings, the, the, the financial reasons to be in or to be out, it, it really came to uh, it could be as high as $400 million per year to our benefit to stay in. Uh, it could be somewhere around uh, a wash if we stayed in. Uh, either way, it wasn't a problem. We also listened to people from the financial institutions saying this was not going to have a negative impact on our credit rating. Uh, there would be some up and downs in our credit rating as we go forward because we're going to have to get more, commit more cash and we're going to have to be uh, liable. Uh, that would be with any project, but it isn't going to be related to uh, what goes on with our Trans-Canada partnership of whether we're in or we're out. So for a cost of about 7 percent to get a whole lot of information that we wouldn't have had otherwise um, and to get out of uh, a, a, the AGEA arrangement, which probably wasn't in our best interest, and I think the Senator from Kenai will expand on that a little bit a little, uh, later, um, it was a pretty good deal for us to get out. And it was good that we get out now because this was probably the cleanest off-ramp that we could choose. There was a back, some back-end pr provisions that they call them where TransCanada, if they were out of the project, could, could get back in. But if, if we act now, uh, that relationship is cleanly severed um, to the best interests of both parties involved. 
and we can go forward with a structure that we can count on that just includes our participation in the project. Um, I think that's about the only comments I'll make. Um, just from a personal point of view, as I said, I came down here pretty much against this after listening to the presentations. I'm for it. We talked with people from TransCanada. Uh, this is not a bitter parting. They understand our position. And uh, we're not going to be pounded away with lawsuits and those kinds of things. So I think it's pretty clean. And it allows us to go forward. And it will have accomplished, certainly, the fact that we were associated with a professional company that got us to a point that we probably couldn't have gotten to on our own. That's benefit number one. There's information that they had uh, that we get now, and it costs us 7.1 percent, and um, and the and the parting is clean. So I'm voting for it.